Welcome once again to SME on Point. Remember, in the last hour, I did promise you that uh, we'll have our interview at this hour. So I guess I'm finally here. And they own an eco-friendly brick company which manufactures bricks using sand and recycled plastic. Yes, you heard it right, recycled plastic. So through their company, Ramzilo Manufacturing and Construction, they'll be the first company to bring the plastic brick to South Africa. So to understand more about their business, Kidiboni and Gele Tsotsilwane are with me on SME on Point. Ladies, thank you so much for making time to uh, join us on SME on Point. I heard that the traffic was quite hectic out there. But tell us more about um, your brick company. You know, what makes this brick so special? Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. We truly are honored. So as you rightly stated, our brick is made part from recycled plastic, mm -hmm. it's sand, and then we've got other additives just to ensure that the brick is strong, it's durable. And when people hear plastic, they tend to think it will burn. So part of the manufacturing process is to make sure that the bricks do not burn. So what, what kind of plastic are we talking about here? So we recycle all types of plastic. Right. Um, specifically, it depends on the compressive strength that we want. It also depends on the type of brick that we're making. So if it's for the stock, um, at 10 MPA, we'll use certain plastic. If it's for pavers, we use specific plastic. So, But what we also do is we recycle all types of plastic. Mm -hmm. These plastic is numbered from one up to seven, seven being unrecyclable and other. Okay. So that is what tends to end up in the landfills and ends up being a problem because nobody really has a plan for those. Yeah, so yeah. we've identified a market in the manufacturing of these bricks. So um, obviously you guys are sisters, but who plays what role in this business? Um, Kitty has a background in finance. Mm -hmm. She has an auditing background and I'm currently studying towards my civil engineering qualifications. So I'm more on the technical side and making the bricks and she's more on the finances. But we try to make it work for us to ensure that even if one person is not present that we both know what's going on. Yeah. She fills me up and educates me on the books and I fill her up an educator on the manufacturing side and the technical side. So I'd say we are a bit of both. You complement each other. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously you both are not new to construction. Your father um, is into construction, which must have inspired. Tell me about your upbringing and what you learned from your father that led you girls to go into construction. Well, as Kike stated, we grew up in, as you stated, sorry, we grew up in, in, in construction. And like Kike said, we went on to do what we started with, what we know. So I started with the finance side and I would help out with the bookkeeping, help out with just making sure that the business is running from a financial perspective. Mm -hmm. And then she, on the other hand, would be on the operations side and she would go on site with my father and she would literally be there helping them whether they need to dig, whatever it is that they need to yeah. do, she'll be helping out with that. So that is where we actually started. I would say that's where the motivation or that inspiration to start a business came from. And we then started in 2013 was when our business was registered and we started as a construction business. Mm. And in 2016 is where we noticed that we were spending, we were doing a lot of general building work and we're spending a lot on bricks. So we then went into the manufacturing of cement bricks in okay. 2016. And Gege being that technical brain still mm. wanted something different, something that would make us uh, stand out. And that's when she then looked for she's got a particular irk when it comes to <laughs> littering okay she hates seeing people litter so right. she wanted us to move yes still do building and be mm -hmm. in the construction mm -hmm. space but something that would be different and be environmentally friendly yeah. and that's where the inspiration for the plastic break comes from yeah so Keke, obviously you have a, a technical know-how of doing this and you've brought the bricks uh, with you to studio uh, tell us about where one would use these i did have i did actually try them they're quite heavy i'm not sure whether there's a standard brick it's supposed to be that heavy uh, but tell us where one uh, can use this kind of brick. Is it paving? Is it building of a normal house? What sort of uh, uses? So uh, we manufacture different types of brick. Right. So this one specifically is a stock brick. So you can build your boundary walls, you can build your single walls, and it can start building from foundation upwards. So the benefit of the weight in comparison to a cement brick, this one is 3 kg, a cement brick is about 2 kg. Okay. So the benefits are that it has a higher compressive strength of 10 MPA, which means that it can actually start building. So what's building. an MPA? It, it's a compressive strength. It's a compressive Compressive, Compressive strength, strength okay. yes. meaning that it can start building from foundation upwards and it can build single and double story units. Mm. So the structural integrity is maintained. And then we have different pavers where we have your interlocking and your bevel. They have a higher compressive strength okay. because they need to withstand more than 
a normal stock break right. does. Yeah, and then we have our maxi breaks that also have a, a higher compressive or another compressive strain, mm -hmm. but mainly they they are used for boundary walls. Yeah, and these ones specifically, they like because of the color difference. Yes, they I can have see the a color specific difference. different plastic and specific um, soil. So this one has soil that's actually from this lead, is, um, this the dark one. The dark one, yes. right. It has soil from a mine. So okay. we, we, as Kitty said, we're very innovative. So we don't want to stay stagnant. Yes, we came up with something that we, we hold so closely to our hearts, but we know that innovation is continuous. Mm. So we continuously work on not only developing other products, but also using more waste. As she mentioned, I am very OCD about litter. So <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm always trying to come up with specifically waste, how we can use that. And with something that I'm, I'm familiar with, which is construction. Yeah. And so we develop different types of brick. We're in, we are planning now to use different types of shapes. So we have a lot coming up. So um, you girls are, are relatively young. You're still in your 20s. How was the journey getting into entrepreneurship? Um, uh, you know, how, was it easy or was it difficult? You also, girls, you're, mm. you're ladies. Uh, what was the journey like? Tell us. Um, it was particularly challenging. Mm. I believe for those very reasons, it was one of the biggest challenges that you're a young black woman and you're entering an industry, particularly the brick manufacturing industry. It's dominated by companies that have been there for a long time, companies that have, the capital, the know-how, and now to make things worse, you come up with a plastic recycle brick. So even more doubt, even more uncertainty in that specific area that we're playing in. And I mean, entrepreneurship, I believe, was more seamless because of the exposure we had with my father running his own business. Yeah. But in the manufacturing, and especially the manufacturing of bricks, particularly these plastic bricks, mm. the challenges have been crazy. They've been one after the other. Tell me it's, more. It's Getting people to take you serious, that's okay. probably one of the biggest things that we struggle with. Is we, it because you are ladies and you are younger? Definitely, okay. definitely. Those two, and also we're short. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. We're both quite short. Mm. So when you walk into a meeting, you look like you're a young girl who's accompanying your parent and you're here to talk <laughs> about a brick and you now need to also talk about the technical side. I mean, yeah. we sit with engineers, we sit mm -hmm. with industry experts, we sit with people from the manufacturing side who've been around for many, many years. Yes. We talk to people who are in the waste industry who, I don't want to say have never thought of this thing, but have never done something like this. And now you come in, you're this young woman and mm. you want to introduce something like this and be taken serious and actually want you to spend money on this brick. So, yeah. you know, they are so many challenges that come with it. So ladies, um, I know there are a lot of people watching us today um, who want to know, one, what your plans for 2020 are, plans. I know that you are working to open another plant around the area. Yes. And uh, what tips you can give to other young sisters and brothers who are planning to collaborate and start businesses together? I think Kiki will give the, the, the motivation. <laughs> I'll just talk about the future plans. Okay, Kiki. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, the motivation I'd like to give is that we came up with something that's very innovative. Before we speak about the product, let's speak about ourselves. Right. It has challenged us so many times, you know, where you had self-doubt, where you had insecurities. We, we, we literally worked from ground upwards. So we know our product from A to Z. Right. And that is very vital as okay. an a entrepreneur. You know, you need mm. to know your product and you need to remain stagnant. It challenges you as a human being because entrepreneurship is also a very lonely journey. It is. I'd like to motivate people also to start small. You know, what maybe people see as our success, you know, they only see that. They don't see that the we actually went to the landfills ourselves to pick up this, this plastic waste. Right. You know, we had to go through a lot just to get this product. We had to endure so much heat from melting this <laughs> in my mom's garage, you know, heat from the fire, heat from the sun you know mm -hmm. so there's there's a lot with it not only the glamorous side but also working hard and having in integrity and especially as a girl child yeah there's so many challenges in in life that we foresee and mm -hmm. it's it's just to to be strong and to to know that you need to challenge yourself whether it's in workspace or at school you need right. you need to be present giddy in just a few seconds um uh, just tell us the plans for 2020 so the plans are big. So the breaks will be available from second quarter of 2020 in Builders Warehouse nationally. Um, as you also stated, we're also moving to Gauteng. So we're opening a branch in Benoni. Like I said, one of the breaks, the darker one, is a different type of sand. So we're yeah. into mind rehabilitation as well. 
Ladies, thank you so much for joining us on SME on Point. I really do wish you the best of luck uh, with your future endeavors. And I hope that people have been inspired uh, by your business. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. So that's it from SME on Point. And for now, it's goodbye to our SABC3 viewers. And after the break, Nompumelelo will be back with more news.